Hi everyone, it's Mike. Um, back out at the permanent shelter today. Um, just carrying on building this um, heat reflector. So I'm just going to show you me making parts of that now. So what we want to do is we want to spike the end of a straight stick. probably best to use a living stick for this guys because um, you need to be able to hammer it in and if, if the um, dry dead stick isn't strong enough you'll end up breaking it and um, not succeeding so So I want the spike like that on it. Now if I can adjust the camera like that. Gonna want one stick in line with the others about about here. So then we take our baton or baton or whatever you want to say and whack it into the ground one thing I would say guys is make sure you're accurate with this because if you whack your hand it hurts because I did it twice yesterday Nearly up level. It's about right. So I'll get on with doing another one and then I'll bring you back. So guys what we now have is four poles driven into the ground and I've cleared the space below. Now what we need to go do is collect a load of logs so that we can make it end up like this fire reflector. But there. So that's what we're gonna go do. So guys this is the progress we've made the heat reflectors. I'm still going to um, put another one or two more logs on each of them to bring them up to a, a bigger height, a higher height. Um, I'll just show you the camp from outside. So this is what we're looking like now with the lean-to there. So it's looking pretty good and um, hopefully this will be really good in the winter so I'm gonna head home now guys and um, so part four will be filming in two parts so thanks for watching stay hey tuned everyone, it's Mike um, just off out to the permanent shelter again today and um, it's getting quite cold to be honest and um, I think it'll be about four degrees in the woods so pretty cold um, plan is to go into the woods get some breakfast and then start um, working on the shelter for a few hours again so stay tuned guys so guys this is the shelter update that's the first fair heat reflector that's the second still want to find another log to put on top of there um, but I think that one's pretty much done. If you can see they're about there now, about there on me, so above knee height. Um, just sitting down eating breakfast now. So I'll um, have breakfast and then go find a log and then get back to you. So stay tuned guys. So guys, um, it rained the other night and rained the night before that as well. There was quite a, quite well, in my opinion, a good thunderstorm, but um, quite a bad thunderstorm um, where there was a lot of lightning and um, the lightning was very cool. 
um, like forks across the sky, like full across the sky as well. Um, really good. But yeah, um, and the shelter has held off the rain and it is pretty much burn dry inside. So that is a good start. But still needs more thatching. So that's what I'm going to do. Just continue thatching. Just to show you guys that this is the difference between the soil and the outside of the shelter which hopefully you can see it's all all damp and the soil on the inside which hopefully you can see that is all nice and dry so a few drops have probably got through but to be honest if you can see that compared to out here in there it's pretty nice and dry so starting to um seal up as well so stay tuned guys so guys hopefully you can see that um there is very little light now coming through the shelter so now it is time to put leaves on the shelter so guys we come to an area that is full of leaves and I'm going to use my space blanket tarp um, to collect the leaves in. So I'll just put the camera down. Hopefully you can see that. So guys, hopefully you can see this. Just give you a view there. So I've put loads of leaves on the shelter. You can still see a few bits of the yew sticking through. Um, but this is four girls there and back collecting leaves. Um, so I'll show you on the other side now. Hopefully you can see that that the only place you've got light coming through is at these sides really a little bit there but look at this guys so it's getting even more waterproofed so we'll just go over what we've done so first we made the frame up here then we put the <laughs> poles going down then we covered it in spruce uh, and, and covered it in leaves and then we've made a pot hanger and then 
two heat reflecting walls so I'll just give you a view out So this is what our shelter is looking like. Looks like a, a proper camp to be honest. So I'm pretty pleased with it. This is not the final part guys. There's probably a few more to come actually. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series anyway. Um, so thank you for watching guys. This is part four. I'll see you on part five.